Give us a high level walkthrough of each day of the course. Sure. So day one is kind of the initiation to the blue team, right? It's like, here's why we're here. Here's what we're doing kind of at a high level. I'm kind of framing out the course and saying, this is the mindset that you need to have as a defender and understand that you are here to provide a service for a company that's ultimately sort of like loss prevention, right? You're going to have a non-ideal set of budget and tools and things to work with, but you're going to have to make the best of it. And you're also going to have to work with uh, management to kind of understand what the concerns are and then make sure that your tools and things are aligning with those. Uh, that's kind of how the class starts and just kind of setting the mindset of like, this is what the job is. And yes, you know, we all want to come in and like, you know, tear everything up and make the most perfect security, right? But then uh, we find out that that's not something that can happen in a lot of cases. So I love the energy. New analysts come in, they're like, oh, we're doing all this stuff and, and we need to fix it. And I'm like, yes, I get that. But we also have to make sure, you know, things continue to get done around here. And so it's really about finding the balance of what's the best that we can do while still hitting budget and, and you know, the goals of um, the threat model or whatever it is that the company is worried about. So we kind of talk about that just in the first part of the first day to kind of set the stage of, of what we're doing and why we're doing it. And then we start talking about the tools of the SOC. So uh, the threat intelligence platforms, SIMs, uh, automation tools, uh, ticketing systems. We talk about alerts versus uh, events versus incidents and how all the data just kind of flows together and how the, what the big picture is. And I, I try to take a systems level view of just like abstracting things and say like, here's a box for the SIM, Here's a box for the threat intel platform, you know, and this is what's going between the two. And the same thing for your incident management system and logs and other stuff. Uh, I, I just explained the high level of how data is collected, what type of data it is, and, and how it flows in between all the tools. And then once we get into day two, we go into um, some deep technical detail on network protocols and stuff that I want, uh, you know, new analysts to definitely know. So covering the main things that you see in almost every alert, DNS, HTTP, HTTPS, uh, SMTP protocol, how to understand what it's doing, how to take apart an email, look at all the headers, understand if it's spoofed. That was a really difficult one. I see a lot of uh, analysts struggle with that. And SMTP is very confusing. So I made sure to, to cover that in some pretty uh, good detail there. We have some really cool labs that go with that too, one where we actually send a spoofed email and, and see all the headers and, and various other things and set up your own mail server. And then also talk about some of the other stuff like FTP and SSH and SMB and how those are leveraged in attacks. And so when you're looking at these normal otherwise network services, how do you differentiate between good HTTP, bad HTTP, and what are the things you're going to be looking for in terms of headers and uh, methods and stuff like that. Day three is more endpoint focused. So we're talking about what is it that you're looking for to happen on an endpoint that would indicate that something malicious is occurring. So when malware installs, what kind of stuff is it doing? How is it changing the endpoint? And how can you collect that data and bring it into your SIM and then understand what it's telling you and pick out something good versus something bad. And so I have a little bit about log collection and how Windows logging works, how Linux logging works and uh, then how to interpret those events and then how your sim is going to normalize them and categorize them and make them better. Uh, one of the points I make in the course is, you know, analysts usually live just kind of in this, um, well, let me back up. The whole thing that a SOC is doing is we're kind of collecting a whole bunch of data, right? And then we're filtering it, funneling it down into events of interest. And then we're doing triage on those events. And then we're doing investigation of what we're kind of triaging. And so a lot of analysts live kind of at the end of that, where we just triage and we look at the events and investigate them. But I really like analysts who know the whole spectrum of like, what is a Windows log, you know, format? Why is it coming in in the way that we're seeing it? And what are the options to make it better? Because a lot of times it's really hard to catch an attack if you don't know, you know, what the possibilities are for Windows logging and you have a suboptimal configuration. So I want to teach everyone kind of the whole back to front of like, how do we manufacture data on an endpoint and ultimately get it to us and what happens along the way? Before we go into the triage and analysis stuff, so when you have those alerts now uh, popped up from your IDS or from your antivirus or whatever, how do we understand which one is the one we need to go to first? Uh, how can we kind of read between the lines on the alerts and say like, oh, this one is you know a near disaster. This is like at the end of the cyber kill chain and we need to address this you know very, very quickly. Or maybe this one looks like a targeted attack and this one does not. And then uh, you know, how to you know, make the, the right choice in that situation because that's something we do basically all day, every day. And then uh, the analysis part. So how do we do cognitive bias-free analysis? And we talk about um, some structured analysis methods and, and how to make sure that you are coming to the right conclusion and not kind of moving too fast, documenting stuff thoroughly, 
how do we check ourselves and how do we kind of have analyst review processes to make sure that we are keeping a high quality of an, uh, investigation as we go over the time. And then day five is uh, continuous improvement analytics and automation. And so what that is, is uh, they largely focus the highest level is like, how do we make this job fun and engaging and take out the parts that are painful? And so continuous improvement, I speak to, uh, I found some, um, some actual like uh, research done by uh, some investigators that were looking at how sock burnout happens and what are the factors that cause it. And so I wrote that into that day and I, I start the day talking about that and then use that kind of as a framework to steer where the rest of the day goes in terms of addressing those specific items. So talking about growth and empowerment and um, you know, the various factors that keep people happy in their job and how do we make sure the SOC is running processes that do that. So we talk about false positive reduction, right? That's another thing that people hate about working in a SOC, just too many false positives, right? So what is the process you can actually go through and what causes false positives and how can we look at all the alerts we have and, and reduce those things? And then obviously automation plays a big part in that as well. Uh, it's a big buzzword right now. Uh, in cybersecurity, but for good reason, right? One of the things people hate, one of the things I hated was manually doing things that there was no reason for me to be doing as a human. So if we can script something, right? If we can make a computer do it, a computer should be doing it. And there are things that people are good at, analysis, judgment calls. There are things that computers are good at, filling in text, shuffling data. And so how do we make sure that we have the optimal mix of those things so people enjoy their job? And then ultimately it all culminates on a day six challenge like many of the other uh, courses. I have a set of data ingested into the course tools that we've been using along the way, which is a threat intel platform and all of that kind of stuff, uh, Sims and uh, you know, full PCAP engine. And, and we uh, take some of that data and we investigate a set of alerts and other various uh, challenges and finding the things that I was talking about along the way. So typical CTF for SANS.